Hey guys, welcome back to Techogram. Today we're gonna learn how to use a Microsoft Flex Grid in Visual Basic. So let's get started. The three things which we're gonna learn in this video is that first we will create a grid on form load and then we will input the data for example we will take and doctor's data and we will input it through input box at runtime and then we will display it through a command buttons click first we will design our form so first let me and now you can see there are no controls of flex grid so to add a flex grid control you have to go to right click on the toolbox right click component and click m keep on clicking until you find microsoft flex grid 6.0 control so click on apply and then close now you can see there is a small yellow icon drag and drop this on our form and create a grid you can see there is nothing written over here so we will write it on the coding and now to take the input we will take a command button and then in this we will ask for different details in different input boxes now for displaying we will use a command button so we will write display go to your coding so first we have to create a structure so write private and then it's a private type so private type and this is user defined so you can use whatever name we will use a doctor because we are going to enter a detail of doctor then in this you have to create different variables so first we will get the doctor's name so to get doctor's name we will use the variable d name as because a name is a string type so use string then d number as integer because number will be integer then doctor's address so a double d r as again it's a string and then again we will write the doctor's phone number so p h n o s n t -H. so as you start a private sub function then you have to close it by end sub to when we have started a private type you have to close it by end type now what we will do we can insert any number of details so we will create an array of this structure so to we will write dim d of you can take whatever size i will take 10 so you, it means that we can enter 10 details as doctor because we want to create an object of doctor data type then we will use two more integers for our loops these are simple i and j you can use whatever as integer click on the form and then click on the form load so now what should happen on the form load the flex grid should display the columns so we have created four columns d name d number d address and string so your flex grid should show all this so how to write the coding for that i will show you first what you have to do you can see the name of the flex grid is is a little bit long so to make it short you can rename it and write fg and now go to your coding on the form load because we want four columns we have to write four f G name of the flex grid dot c o l s this shows the total number of columns you want to create so it will be four so this works just like a matrix this is the zeroth row and zeroth column cell so zero zero this is the zeroth column and first row so this is zero 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 this is zero one then this is zero two so because first we will move to our the initial position which is f g dot row is equal to fg dot row don't use s fg dot row is equal to zero and fg dot all equals to zero now when you write this command our pointer will move to the this cell this is the first so zero 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 column and zero cell so this will the pointer will move here and now the pointer is here we have to write fg dot text you can because you can see we have four here so we will first use the d number you can use either of these first we will write a d number so write fg.tx equals to doctor's number which is d number actually and then what you have to do you can see in the design now we don't want to go below this we want to go on the right side so that d number will be printed here and then the d name will be printed here then the address then the phone number so to go on the right side what you have to do you have to increase the number of the column so the row will be the same zeroth row so, and the column will be one and then the same thing when you was on the zeroth column you have written fg.txt doctor name now we move on the next column so we will write fg.txt is equal to doctor's name now again we have to increase a column so that we can write the fg.address there so fg.txt 
C O L equals to two, and then again write F G dot text. Now we move down the next column, so write doctor's address, and then again we have to move to the next column and write F G dot is equal to three. And the last we will write F G dot text equals to phone number. And now we will run the program and see that will it work or not. So you can run the program, and we can see. The coding created this four column with name. You can see doctor name, doctor address, and doctor phone number. And now what we will do? We will write the coding for input and display. So we will write the coding for input first. So input. You can see there are four variables we have. So we have to take the input in all the variables. So what we will do? First we will take as array. So our array should start from i. So d of i dot the first was d number. We can use the input box to get the data. So input box enter d number, and then for the second use the same d of i d name equals to input enter d name, and then again d of i dot again we have to. D A D D R doctor's address equals to same use input box enter address and then again D of I dot the last one which is P H and write equal to same input box enter P H and O. For example, if you have recorded and detail and that will be saved in D of zero, then what will happen? When you want to save again the detail of second doctor, the detail will be saved in D zero only. So what you have to do, you have to write i equals to i plus one. So every time when you enter the detail of a doctor, the i should increase so that it will be saved on the next index. For example, i is equal to zero, so this is the zero, and all the doctor information will be saved here. But when you want to enter the detail of the second doctor, that will be again saved here. So to make it to go to the next row. We have to use the i is equal to i plus one. Now we will see is it working or not. So click on the run program and click on input. Now we can so enter d number, enter d name, d address, and the d phone number. As we have written the coding of input, now we will write the display coding. So to, on the command click two, what you have to do, whatever number of rows are here, as you can see it's zero. So we have to write on the first row. So what you have to write? F G dot rows equals to F G dot rows. On whichever row it is already written, we can add a one so that the detail will be displayed from that onwards. Because we want to display the details of multiple doctor because there can be ten detail in our flex grid because we have used the D of ten here. You can see. So what you have to do? You have to use a for loop. So for J equals to one to whatever number till the i is. So if we have entered only one detail, then it will be remain to one only. So J is equal to one. And now what you have to do? You have to do the same thing which we have did in the displays. First, you, first you have to show the total number of rows. So the first row in which the data is to be displayed is F G dot row equals to J. So if J increases, then the row will be increased to and then you have to display the column so the column will be first only so the index start from 0 so 0 and now what in the zeroth column what you have to display you have to display fg dot text equals to because the variable is d the our integer variable and then j d of j dot whichever detail you want to enter so first we want to enter first we want to display the d number so d no And now we will increase the number of the column. The same thing which we have taken in the input. So f g dot call equals to one, and then again f g dot text, whichever detail you want to display. D of j dot d name, and then again increase the number of the column. So f g dot call is equal to two, and f g dot text equals to the third one is our address. So you have to write d of j dot d a d d r. And then again increase the number of the column, which is three. And now f g dot text equals to d of j dot d p h n o. Now end the for loop. So next j. I have written the coding, but keep in mind the j is starting from one, and I am displaying one here. But the index of an array start from zero, so we have to write minus one, so that the display will be showed from the zeroth index. So j minus one again. So wherever which we have used j, we have to write j minus one. You can see on the form design there was nothing. 
but when we run the program you can see the flex grid automatically set itself now we'll input any details so write number write anything name then any address and then any number and then you can see there's nothing here but detail will be appear when we click on the display you can see the one ads name now again we'll input anything so write to any name any doctor's name and then address we've written now any number and again we'll click on display you can see the second detail is display here so this is how you can use ms flex grid in your project in microsoft visual basic i hope you like the video if you like the video press the like button if you have any question suggestion query or any idea for the video please leave that in the comment box subscribe for more bye